Hey everyone on YouTube, you know this is your boy DJ Cool Thing from Cool Thing Entertainment. Welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel in almost a week. And today I want to talk to you guys about why it's important to record your mixes externally rather than recording it internally. Number one, it puts a lot of strain and wear on your laptop. You know, recording and running your DJ set at the same time. And it's no good for your laptop, especially if you're someone like me who has a two to three year old laptop with a uh, Intel Core i5, eight gigabytes of RAM, and you know which you know computer I'm talking about, the MacBook Air. Uh, it's got a, yeah, it's got an Intel Core i5 with eight gigabytes of RAM. And that is a very low spec laptop, but it's decent for running my DJ set on my DJ software, but not recording and running the set at the same time. So I use an external mixer to connect my microphones, an external uh, music source for cocktail hour and dinner, you know, with weddings and of course dinner for birthday parties and um, school events, which, you know, from, because of the, of the pandemic, I haven't been doing many school events. Very recently, I haven't done a school gig since 2019 or maybe even February 2020 before the pandemic started. I haven't been able to do any school events. So if I'm doing something like that again in the future and during the dinner, I can put on something random through Spotify or music that I have stored locally onto my phone, I can then play that music through the Yamaha MG10, and that gets recorded to the, the uh, rec you know, through the reloop tape. And I have a 16 gigabyte thumb drive. And of course I have the first gen reloop tape, which has a USB port, so I can use my 16 gig um, thumb drive. And if you have the second one, it records onto a micro SD card and of course, you can get one of those micro SD to USB adapters for exporting your DJ set from the uh, thumb drive or the micro SD card and posting it directly onto Mixcloud so people can share in that recording as well. And they can feel like, you know, that you're, you're that they're there with you, which is awesome. And also, it also helps you as a DJ, you know, posting it on Mixcloud and also recording yourself and see where you need to prove as a DJ, whether it's your MC or your mixing or whatever the case may be, you can actually hear yourself back. I just love hearing myself back. It'll really, it'll really help me as a DJ learn from my mistakes of what I need to improve on, whether it's MCing or mixing or or whatever the case may be, it's, you know, going to help me out as a DJ. So recording your mixes externally is really good if you have a setup like mine that has two microphones, a controller, a laptop. Uh, I have so much going on with my DJ set that you know, I need to record it externally rather than going internally because my controller is very limited in a way that you know I just can't connect everything to my controller. I need an external mixer and that external mixer I can you know use the monitor yeah I can use the monitor output and connect it straight into the 3.5 millimeter input on the reloop tape and record my mixes um, externally, I think. Yeah, and, and it's really put a lot, a lot less strain on my laptop in the long run, and it can focus on running my DJ set from the DJ software. And of course, it doesn't take up a whole lot of space on my laptop, especially with a 121 gigabyte SSD, solid state drive. The more I record, the the more it's going to take up a lot of room 
on my laptop. So using a thumb drive or a micro SD card, it's really going to help a lot. And I don't even have to worry about how much space I have left. I can just focus on running my DJ set and I can put the reloop tape over to the side and let it record the entire night or the entire gig. And I can always remember it for many years to come in the future. So that is just amazing having the reloop tape there with me. It's a very small, teeny, teeny external recorder. Yeah, I can, um, it's a very small external recorder that I can put over the side, I can just forget about and focus on running my DJ set. So I put it right beside my external mixer, my Yamaha MG10, and I just let it record the entire night. I press record when I start mixing or, you know, the night starts, I press start and then I let it record the entire night. Even from my wireless lapel, my handheld, my controller, maybe a secondary laptop or my phone through a Bluetooth adapter. Yeah, it's really gonna help a lot. Especially if you're someone like me who has a very limited controller, like the DJ 400 that I have in my closet, as well as my SR2 that's you know getting fixed as we speak. It has one microphone input, which is quarter inch. I have both a quarter inch microphone and a XLR mic. And I need to record both of those microphones without switching them out. It helps, it really helps a lot, like a lot. <laughs> so that's why you wouldn't want to record your mixes internally or externally rather than internally, because internally you can't record everything, just what your controller can accept. But having an external mixer really helps a lot. It also adds a lot of EQing to your uh, your your DJing, especially the microphones and having external, you know, having individual, you know, knobs to boost the sound and really improve the sound from your speakers and your recording at the same time which I think is really neat. So that's why you would want to record your mixes externally rather than internally. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.